Hey there, this is Salman and you are watching Zeta Analysis. In this video, I have a phone that is Vivo uh, Y53 and it has some problems. So, first I will tell you what problems and then I will try to solve this. I will show you in this video all the problems and all the solutions. Okay, first. I am just powering it on and see uh, it has a major problem with its sim and uh, its IMEI is corrupted I just check it as IMEI by dialing star 06H and you can see there there is a common problem with the vivo phones or particularly with the with a Y53 and that is nullified and due to this uh, it is not getting any uh, signal and coverage and you can see that the signals here are grayed out and there is no signals at all okay just go to check and see in the settings and the about phone more settings about phone and here I can see its model number is 1606 there is view Y53 and you can also see that there is also an about phone IMEA is nullified or both IMEAs are same okay it is Android version uh, 601 and uh, again I will show you in the dialer menu go to the dialer menu dial star is 06 h and see both IMEAs are the same so that's why it's not getting any coverage so in this video I will show you how to repair this IMEI that is very difficult it uh, looks and seems very easy in some YouTube videos but it is not as actual and people like me and mine faced so many problems and uh, at last I figured out some solutions about that I am just going to share with you to help those and like you who are watching my videos and you raised here just to solve your problem yeah, again I am going to the settings and showing you clearly about phone see that this model is 606 and uh, IMEA is same both IMEAs are same okay now another thing uh, that uh, we have to see clearly is it is software version clearly see it is very important step very very important step don't miss this uh, don't miss it don't miss it uh, all the all things are based on this the software version is pd1620fexa 3.0.18 important is this and again do remember this is 3.0.18 or you may screenshot it or uh, whatever you want okay the other thing uh, you should have to remember is the baseband version uh, you can see that there is nothing no baseband unknown is written here there is a, a genuine number is written here the 7 gen spec 1 and the numbers are here there's a baseband number okay the, this is a baseband version that means it is baseband is okay IMEA is written in the mobile but it's a common problem with the vivo y53 or other qualcomm phones or whatever else uh, so the solution might be same for others too so in order to write it is IMEA uh, first we will try we try a common solution just uh, because it has a dashboard without root just by code so we first we try a simple solution and we check that if it is working or not so first you should you should have to do is very important to up or go to the about phone tap seven times on the software version software version seven times and i already tapped seven times no need because it's saying that you are no need you are already in the developer mode you are already in the developer mode go back and find the developer set options at the last 
and about settings uh, more settings uh, and turn on first developer options okay then just uh, click on the stay awake and the most important is or oh, you unlock this phone uh, okay and uh, USB tapping it on allow and uh, now come to the uh, now come to the computer screen okay let's come to computer screen so in the computer screen first uh, press i am using windows 11 so whatever you are window using windows versions so type commands and do do according to that And Windows 11, I am just pressing the Windows plus X keys and M keys for M keys for Device Manager. I opened it aside there so I can see the port established uh, later uh, while we start working. Okay. Now I'm just grabbing my USB cable, attaching it, attaching it to the mobile with the PC. Just I plugged in and see in the computer screen, there is a no ports established. Okay. Now in the phone screen, Dial star H double five eight hash. Go to the quality verification test and just click here debugging port. I already did, but you should check it. Check it. Okay, after checking it, now again come to the Windows interface and in the device manager you can see that a port is now established that is Qualcomm HS diagnostic mode so now we successfully entered our device in diagnostic mode so I will open uh, an IMA writer see that that's why that works or not so I have my all files about this phone is here in the Y53 folder now I have an uh, I may write a two. I have two I may writers in this folder, so I will try this one or either this one, whatever you want, or so I will try this one. Okay, I open it, I close this RAR file, I minimize it, I open this text where I stored my original I may eyes. Okay. This is my IMEI and this is it is hex phone. So here I have to enter it is simple phone. Okay, I copied it. Control C. I here control V. Then the IMEI one field enter IMEI one in the IMEI two field enter IMEI two. Now the problem is with this uh, with this method when I click on this right button right IMEI button it shows here okay and pass or whatever but uh, it also detected the COM12 you can see that in the device manager it is also the COM12 for the diagnostic port Qualcomm diagnostic port it is called uh, COM12 and this Qualcomm IMEI repair tool also detected the comb but uh, when it passes it uh, does not write to the uh, device okay so we have to check now we have put it both IMEIs in the both fields and so we have to write this IMEI and you can certainly see that it is done but uh, we have to check that it, it is written or not so I have to uh, it's turn on condition I'm just increasing its brightness and uh, I'm just rebooting it okay I have to reboot it uh, many and many times so I am doing another method for rebooting I am just opening another command window or terminal window whatever you want 
I like uh, I'm in Windows 11. I have a terminal application 2 and CMD 2. You can type Windows CMD and open it too. But I have terminal window. So I type terminal and enter. So my terminal window opens there. I enlarge it somehow. Now I go to the directory where I stored a fast boot, ADB and fast boot. That is a common. Nothing strange to you. Uh, Vivo fast boot. Okay. You can see that it automatically typed when I press the tab button. So here I type dot backward slash front slash whatever you want. A D B D E V I C S devices. And check that if it is attached with my computer successfully or not. It is on the COM port 5039. You can see that uh, my device is attached to my PC. So I just have to ADB reboot. And uh, see that the mobile is automatically rebooted. Okay. Without touching my phone. It is easy peasy. The ADB commands are not strengthful for those, those who are familiar with these tools and stuff and mobile flashing and whatever else these are easy commands for them okay we will try and wait for reboot and after that we will see that it be succeeded or not at the last stage our problem was the nullified IMEIs and the both IMEIs are same in both ports so check that whether we succeeded or not Again, I will check my IMEI. Uh, still that, as I told you that we will never succeed through this method. Your IMEI MEID is invalid. Please contact the customer service. Uh, still, you can check that the both IMEIs are same. And there's a problem with Vivo Y 53. So I OK. And uh, now what we have to do? This is a security page level 1 2018 and this is on base build version this and software version this. So what we have to do is to downgrade this phone to somewhere version where the QCN file or IME writing possible. At this time, the IME return is done in the computer screen, but that is just read only, not returned actually. There is just a fake statement. Now we have to downgrade this base pen version. So, in order to do this, I downloaded files and I also give the link in the description so you can download that file. Okay. <laughs> Again, remember this, the software version is 3.0.18 and uh, best band is this. So in order to flash this phone, we must have to put this phone in the ideal mode and we can do this by two ways. The first way is the uh, to type the ideal command adb reboot ideal. The second way is by its test points which are here inside on the motherboard so we will try both things because in this uh, we are going to so in this we are using this method and these test points many times so i am dismissing this cable turning off this phone Uh, you can see that there are no signals uh, so I extract my sim card sim tray and you can see that there is another the uh, sim is inserted also but uh, still no but uh, still no signals so I keep my sim tray here sim ejector also here and so I reboot I shut down my device here I power this off.
So now I should open this phone case. First I removed its SIM tray. Now I have to remove these two screws one by one and I only have one screw. Open this up with your nails or whatever else you have. See this? Now it has a test points somehow. And we forgetting to boot this into. And we forgetting this to boot this mobile into EDL with the ADB commands. Now we boot this with the test points. So to do this. Just grab any forcep or tweezer and hold these test points. Short or jumper these points. These are the two points here. I'm just scratching this. The plastic is on it. Now these are both are naked. You can see that these two parts and suddenly we have to connect with this USB cable. So I am just doing and you can see if this is not clearly seen. Sorry for that. But even I will try my best. I will try again. They are turned on uh, by mistake, but we have to remove this. It's battery. I removed it, and now we will do this again. No port is still in the device manager. Just keep trying again and again until and unless you succeed. Now I succeeded to get the QDL port. See in the computer screen. There is a Qualcomm which is USB QD loader driver. Nine double zero eight port, which is a EDL port. EDL is another mode of flashing of Qualcomm devices that is emergency downloading mode. EDL emergency downloading mode. So here we will flash some new stuff. So I just downloaded a file and we have to downgrade this 
3.0.18 a 1.12.4 this is from the windrom.net and this file so just i will extract for this i will extract to this 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 so wait for this extractions and listen to me carefully so while these things are extracting i will tell you some important stuffs that you will never get anywhere else are the some important important informations that are never posted in the some blogs and anywhere else so don't skip these parts of a video where their extraction is in process the flashing in its process at this times i just talk about the important mouse stuffs where the people uh, do mistakes usually i hope so you get it okay first of all you must have to install the qualcomm drivers according to your pc i am on the 64 bit so i install my 64 bit qualcomm drivers so that's why i'm easy able to get the qualcomm qt ladder and before it i also succeeded to get the qualcomm dynastic mode drivers when my mobile phone was turned on conditions so i know so i have extracted my this file and so we will see that what are included there there are many or many things so i will rename it to a shorter lamp so i will remove all these characters and i will just leave it as starting name okay i just renamed this file okay uh, so we have to flash this in order to flash this uh, we can use any type of box but here i am not using any box i am just going to the kill field which is free and so we you can see that there are many versions of the kill field 2.3.5 and um, many things more so i will try this i also install the qpst so i will just start by pressing the windows key q fill and q fill is here enter and open q fill is started now now first of all how to flash with this is click on the flat build select the programmer file programmer file is a bootloader that is an external bootloader which can communicates with the device when the device is in off condition and nothing else in this it is internal memory even if the internal memory is clean clean to zero even still then it can communicate with the device with an external loader that is called as firewalls so we have to browse the programmer path and uh, just have to go that directly where i had extracted my files i know where i had extracted it is uh view y53 and i shortened that name to this and only the programmer file is this i will uh, let you see this name programmer emc file or 8917 ddr.m and it is just only about 3 to 7 kb it is just an external loader file i opened up and now i have to load the xml file which is a flashable file now i'm click on the load xml file and just click on the uh, raw programmer and spark xml or no qcn xml whatever you want okay i click on unspare.xml i know it's going to wrong i know after flashing this and also click on the page 0.xml double click or open it uh, now I just have to select an port and that port is established com3 and you can see there uh, in the com list in the com3 is visible and selectable so I select it and a big disclaimer that I know after flashing in this I also encounter another problem and I encountered it already and before producing this video I practiced on it and so for help you and like your people's just I created this tutorial and this creation the tutorial takes so much work and time and efforts and human time so that is not easy to produce workout practice to and record and 
just in produce and this is not as easy as you are watching just by searching how to bala 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 and whatever you need in this video this video took so much time and now we load in the raw program alana spread.xml patch0xml and our firehose now i am going to download once it started download just wait for it so the data blue bar is just moving just started moving and now we have to write this so now listen to me so after this what will happen i already know after flashing this file this mobile will break oops it is so sad but it is just for experiment and it is also for those who watched other tutorials on the youtube like mine and break their devices and never come back from their bricked devices so it is also another break unbreak guide too so in this video i am going to show you the many and many problems i faced in order to repair my vivo y53 imei and take all those problems so i am just going to share uh, i'm going to share those problems with you and i saw the solutions were neither written in the internet or never posted in any form like video or even if they are posted they are incomplete and without any such information because i know and i can see that some of these solutions are purely from mine and not from internet and they are never done before mine video anywhere else some of these i know these files are from the internet but some of the tricks are never written on that even by using those files i were never able to unbreak my device after trying to repair my IME. but after some new tips and tricks i am able to unbreak my device so i will show you Just be with the video. I hope this video helped you or somebody else and that you remember me in their prayers or might you remember in your prayers. I just hope so. I am just waiting to complete this flash and after that we will see that the LCD is gone. <laughs> okay, uh, we left up and we removed already our battery. So after flashing done we just have to reconnect back our battery. So don't touch the phone unnecessarily while the flashing is going on and you might break your phone. So it is now completed and the download is succeeded. You can easily see the download is succeeded and finished in download with the QFill without any bugs. So what we have to do is to remove this cable. Connect the battery slot. And just press and hold the power key for a few seconds until it goes. It booted, vibrated and booted and you can easily see that this mobile phone is bricked and even if you let it hours and hours like this you will punt your LCD but it is not, never going to be correct by itself so we have to do something okay. This is a white LCD problem that is common with this downgrade file so we have to encounter this. Okay, whatever you will do, you will press and hold the power key for many and many seconds and again reboots, but it stuck on the white screen. Okay, I will show you the solutions. Just wait a few minutes here. Okay, it is now going to reboot and it still is a white screen with the black and shares and I might lose, I may lose my LCD. 
this panel can be gone. So, what we have to do is to remove the battery. See, it's turned on in conditions. I removed it. Carefully remove, kindly. So, again, we have to go. Again, we have to enter the device into the ADL mode first. So, before entering the ADL mode, we first have to set up our, pro our program first. Okay. Now, I am just uh, going here into the My Explorer. And you can see that there are the two big files. One is this that we already extracted. That is about 1.124. Uh, and that is a real file that is going to work in here to flash and it's unbreak file and you can see that this is of a 3.0.18 as you remember <laughs> uh, i hope that so you remember that this was in the system version when the mobile was on a few minutes just ago okay now we will flash and you can check that the extra files i have downloaded from internet in order to there in order to unbreak this and uh, just i was trying to unbreak this phone i tried made in many ways i super hard break this phone and even that recovered and i will create uh today night i will create all those videos i will again my break my phone i will again hard break my phone and recreate this that solution just to help the humanity that is just my call, nothing else I will need you. When you don't subscribe, when you don't click, I don't need your clicks, subscribe, nothing else. Please. I am just kidding. See that how many files I downloaded. Even I downloaded the same files twice and thrice. See its size. See its size. And just one step back, the, there is another third same file. I downloaded this, I downloaded this, I downloaded this. And even sometimes I stuck in, perfectly stuck in the ideal mode and I tried many big ways and search Google how to exit ideal mode in Windows. That was, that was so tough. So now I extract this file here. So I hope this uh, this file help our phone to unbreak this phone and I tried it already and this phone this file worked and I was able to unbreak my phone with this file that clearly worked but even that I was not able to manage to repair IMI with this file so I will show you the correct solution these are just the mistakes that usually people do and people are falling in these people without any proper guide and the guides on the internet about this phone and repairing IMEI are incomplete and like mine other people are falling into troubles and no one have the correct solution so that is not easy for everyone so I'm just creating these solutions okay now the extraction is completed. We have our file 3.08 split image. Now, I'll go back to the QFIL again, browse to the firehose one step back. Now, I'll come to this file. The fi I know the firehose is same. Just select this. Now, load the XML again from the new folder. This is on my underscore and sparse XML. This is about just 27 KIB. And the page 0, this is about just 7 KIB. Okay that now if you want to know that what are the raw programmer and spare xml so just first start the flashing that i will tell you in a spare time okay now i am again booting my phone into the ideal mode you can see in the device manager that that's there is no ideal port just short these two pins and at the same time connect your usb to the pc i'm just shooting the test points in this time i'm able to get the ideal point at the first glance and you can see that now our device in the ideal mode call com matches usb qt loader 9008 com 3 you can easily see in the device manager 
Now I loaded the Rust program in Spread XML and Page Zero from the new file, which is search file path is 3.0.8 split image. Now I am going to download this. It is again flashing and it will start in a few seconds, just in a few seconds. And it started. Now if you want to know about the raw program or spare XML and the patch your XML, what are these are? The first I will tell you about the raw program or unspare XML. This is just a base file which store all the information about the flash files, all the partitions, their flash file names and the partition names that are stored in the phone memory and the regions regions mean the memory areas in the bytes where these flash partition exists and where the newly partition newly flash files or newly system files are going to return there so it contains the every and every information about the flash file and what is the page file it usually contains the information about the phone memory map memory map uh, it contains about the regions and partitions of the phone memory where the flash files are going to be flashed like the boot image bootloader image system image user data image and the many more images we will see in a few minutes later I just wait this guide is so horrible and so long and this is not easy so we have to try again and again for everything else but and we have to make mistakes and we have to learn from those mistakes too but in the mobile flashing world some mistakes are not recoverable they have no fine to pay to recover those mistakes they are one-sided and one-time mistakes one-time mistake and your uh, phone is just like a so cheap or just a scrap so this flash file is also completing it is time and It's also going to complete. Just wait for it and be with me. Be with video. Okay, it also completed. The download is succeeded now. Then download is finished. Just what we have to do is to connect. It's also still turned off. Just have to connect the battery points. Remove the cable and just press and hold the power key for a few seconds that it will exit. That it will exit the EDL mode. So I will try the three keep and holding three buttons volume up down and power button for a few seconds and I will try that it boots up or not. Issues in my head. I like you in my bed, but you keep me on red. Oh, 
Everything is like a test. I better not text or I'll come off desperate. But if I lay down and I play dead and I stay dead, maybe you'll get sick of being the monster out of my head, under my bed, thinking something out of my mind. By the way, it is not turning on. The battery is intact. So just by connecting with the USB cable without entering in the ideal mode and we check that it is stuck in the ideal mode or not. Something other happens. Oh no, this device is still in the diagnostic mode. It is not in the AD loader mode. So it might happen. I am just going to remove the battery. Plugging it back. And this time I will try what this it happens. It turns on or not. Keep holding three buttons and it worked. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I thought that it's not going to work but it still worked. Okay. Now in the mobile phone screen, you can see that what has happened to this now. Due to the keep and holding and pressing these three buttons, it now rebooted into a recovery. Just reboot now button. You can see that there is a reboot now. If the touch is not working, then you can just uh, press the power button single time and it reboots. Automagically, auto magically. Sometimes you use these terms in the flashing world, mobile flashing world. That auto magically. Okay, I am just waiting for this. See that what happens to it is I Mia and finally there is another success that we recovered our phone from the wide screen or a boot loop you may call that or a break the stat. So it's a better thing. As someone said that something is better than nothing. So it is something. I know it's nullified, it is better, but better than nothing nothing means uh, dead phone or whatever so i will show you also the accurate tricks and tips to successfully write the mei and if all these methods fail whatever you did or you would do But you would fail. I also tried all those steps and all those solutions and I also followed all, all those guides present in the internet and the web in the YouTube elsewhere elsewhere. I tried all things but I never succeeded as still unless I tried my own text so I will share also this. Just Wait a few minutes. So the drawback of this file is uh, when we flash this to downgrade our system or software. So we print our device and usually people do this and they never solve their problem from to resolve their break state. So they always stuck there and they pay money to the service centers and many more things they even destroy, they even throw their cell phones into the dustbin.
So that's why I'm showing you all the solutions and all the possible mistakes that a human and a, a person do after watching the solutions present here and there. I also followed all those but I never succeeded to get something from them except the files and the methodology and the uh, somehow somehow and some extent and now I will finish my setup program in English I will select uh, any country select Pakistan every it also showed that MEI is not defined I skip this step diamond dead escape a later phase and uh, leave all these things as is or just turn off these all things that are unnecessary there's my personal preference and my personal choice and use now congratulations your phone has been set up now it loaded the home screen and we successfully unbreaked our device and you can see here if you type star hash zero six hash you can still say that the IMEI is nullified I will show you in the system there about phone the IMEIs are same in the uh, both ports both IMEIs are the same and the software version is as previous as I showed at the start of this video and the PS band is also same so first uh, do the same things uh, we did tap seven times on the software version and the develop developer options are not turned on here turned on OEM unlocks is still turned on click on stairway and USB type again turned on now listen to me carefully now what should I have to do this to this phone in order to repair IMEI successfully now I will just flash the base paint part the base paint part listen carefully this is the most important and important and important step of this video the video is based on this i'm just going to flash the base paint partition of the newly flash file that we have to downgrade and instead of downgrading whole system which includes system softwares and many more things user data and everything else i am just going to downgrade the base band versions base band version okay now clearly do remember that the base band is 1.135 after flashing you will see that this will never going to be like 1.1345 yeah, exactly that will be 1.0 some of that okay now to do that okay uh, to do that just uh, plug in your USB cable okay now come to the PC screen I minimize this QFIL and in order to flash a part of any flash file now I have to open the miracle box you can find this miracle box by googling it That is open now. I am going to the Qualcomm tab. I am just uh, not hitting the portrait this time. I am just uh, repairing that is interface for flashing. 
and now I will select the Vivo method because it is a Vivo based phone. I uncheck auto programmer and select to Vivo Y53. Now go to the flashing tab and uh, custom flasher. Come to the custom flasher. Now uncheck the auto programmer. Click on this. Go to the location where I extracted, where you extracted your files. I extracted mine here. That was 0.1.124. We have to just to flash the base pin partition from here. And do remember. And do remember the base pin partitions included of the four file, not one. The number one is, see this, modem. The number 2 is modem st1. The number 3 file is modem st2. And the number 4 file is fsg. Now, which file will flash where? To check this, we will open the raw programmer XML. First, we flash the modem. I'm going to open this. I am going to insert the file and I am opening raw programmer xml unspare xml in notepad plus plus it is already opening in the notepad plus plus you should have to open in any notepad or whatever you want your best I am opening with the notepad plus plus if it is not installed in your pc you can easily install ok now I am just minimizing this and maximizing this and I am just flashing the first partition that is modem and uh, I am maximizing it control F and I first it is modem that is in the first line and you can see here the modem is written here you saw that this is a modem see my mouse cursor now modem label it is a label modem means it's flashing in the modem partition and which file name it is our concern file name is non hellos.pin non hlos.pin now i flash this there i now click on a file to write and select that file i am on the same directory where i selected from the programmer so it is easy now just i click the non n i type non and it's selected here okay still i am searching here from this non i clicked n and non a spin is here now i click just open and in the modem partition i will write this click on this right partition tape and start button and before start button see there there is no port established because our phone is in the turned on condition now we have to turn it off and boot into etl now this time i'm not going to use this test point method and this time i'm just going to the adb method in this point of powershell i'm just going to you type the adb uh, reboot etl and you can see that in a glance it will report into the ADL and another port will be shown in the device manager uh, which is 9008 emergency downloading mode port ADB reboot ADL and this turned off mobile phone and a port is shown here you can see that Qualcomm matches USB Q reloader port again appeared now click on this port Now, don't click on that, that port, it's not necessary. Just click on the hair port uh, in the Miracle and the click port. It also searching that port and it searched and got that port. And we already set up all the things and just click on this turn button. And it is uh, waiting for the programmer file loads. Okay. And it processes done. Now one file is flashed. Now we have to flash the modem st1 and we have to check which, file, which files are flashing on the modem st1. Just uh, open the notepad plus plus and type modem st1 and check which file is flashing there. Uh, so I found it 
modem ST1 label that's a partition name on the mobile phone memory and that is modem ST.MB and file name that should be flashed on that partition and on the next most line you can see that on the modem ST2 which we are going to flash in the next step that is also flashing the modem ST dot pin so that means that these both file these are single file modem ST dot pin is flashing on these two partitions modem ST1 and modem ST2 so I am just minimizing this and modem ST1 and replacing file with modem st dot mpn modem st dot mpn i am just stating a starting button this process also done and uh, now i am finding and uh, i am flashing on the modem st2 the same file i am not changing modem st dot mpn it's just going to flash that now i am hitting start button i hit it start and it also did now I am just going to flash the third file that is uh, the fourth partition that is FSG. Now I find that which file is going to flash and the FSG partition open. The notepad plus plus control F FSG click and I found that where the FSG is written. The label FSG mean the partition FSG I know this is a partition in the mobile phone memory and the file in the flash file which I downloaded from the internet. The file name is going to be flash is the pdf 1628 ac etc etc tar.gz.mbn.mh that is started with pd16 and ended with mbn.mh pd16 I minimize it open file click here press p on the keyboard p and find that file pd16 tz tar.gz.mbn.file and open and just flash this it also flash that okay we did what we wanted okay now reboot our device in order to do this just 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 minimize this phone and remove this cable it's necessary now press and hold the power key for a few seconds It started now wait for it This time it will boot uh, sooner than the f last <laughs> last time. See that it booted and everything is else there. The developer mode tries there because this time we never flash the never flash the system partition. Uh, we just flash the modem partition. And to check this, I am just going to. It is still invalid. Don't be panic about it. It is still invalid, and you can see that the IMI is still invalid. See there, the IMA is still the same. Don't be panic. Uh, we figured out most most of this problem. We did most of this problem. Okay, again go and about phone. IMA is still the corrupted, but the most important things to be said: that the base band downgraded. This is 1.102. Whatever else, that is not my concern. Go back. Go back, go pay, go back. Just connect the USB cable with the PC. We did almost, we did almost. Okay, this is time to celebrate is still not. Be patient. The port is not in the device manager, so we have to re again and en enable that port in order to do this. So just again type star h double five eight h go to quality verification and click on the debugging port the port is instantly shown in the device manager 
Now again open this IMA writer which failed the last time it showed the done but actually it did not turn the job correctly. I'm going to just click here and copying my first IMEI here and copying my second IMEI here. I this time just going to just click right IMEI and it again done and now I'm just going to reboot this device with the ADP reboot ADL remove ADL from here and just click on this, this mobile turned out you can see that it's bright and I now touch this on the PC you can see that I did ADP reboot just ADP reboot and it rebooted now this is the time to celebrate this that we succeeded or not this is the whole effort we did for this Now this time check either the IMEI is written to phone correctly or not. Just dial the star as 0 6 -ish. Boom and we did. Okay now to double check this go to settings about phone and check that both IMEI is now in the separate partitions IMEI 1 IMEI 2 to further check this. Now I am just uh, inserting my SIM into the phone and we can easily check that I put it here in the sim tray the sim in the sim tray and uh, it's somehow difficult for me to handle with one hand but I will do You still see it's not inserted there is no sim you can see the statement there is no sim there okay no sim no signals no sim and no signals and there is uh, no sim uh, inside this no sim and no network No flight mode is active and we insert a sim and check that it happened. Now check if we get the signals or not. Okay, it's over. Wow, that is a time to celebrate. We finally get and the message from the zone and you can see the 4G you hear the voice of the and easily you can see the 4G signal uh, we repair the time EI and whatever else we wanted we achieved and this time to celebrate we unbreaked we repaired our IMEI everything is working in a working condition and now you can see a message is received from this song 4G and whatever this blah 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 blah. Finally, we did. Okay, I placed all the necessary links in the description. You can check that. The remaining software which we, you will not find in the description, you may Google and download from internet. I hope you enjoyed this video and got benefited from, from this video and if you did don't forget to give us a thumbs up for this so time taking and for this so time taking video which I created for you to resolve your problems and other problems and 
don't forget to subscribe and just not only subscribe ring the bell so my friend my friends you will never miss any upcoming tips tricks and advanced tutorials thanks for watching and stay tuned i will see you on my next video until then keep smiling